Now, before we update you on the pathetic end to the mass poisoning of Flint, a little background. Flint was broke. It was taken over by an emergency manager. They couldn't even borrow. But the geniuses in this town figure something out. Detroit charges us too much for water. If we build our own water plant, we can charge the same amount and keep the difference. That's a lot of contracts. That's a lot of contributions. That's a lot of steak dinners with nice Chianti. But how can Flint borrow when it's broke? They created an emergency, and then they had to start paying on their borrowing immediately when the new water plant wasn't even fixed. So what'd they do? They started drinking out of the sewer known as the Flint River. Now what you find in the Flint River are car batteries and corpses. And then what'd they do? They shipped it over there to the water treatment plant. Little problem. Water treatment plant's so old it can't treat water. So they started shipping the people garbage, swill, not fit for a pig. Tens of thousands were poisoned, hundreds died, and here we are. No justice. And now for our story. I couldn't understand why Kim Worthy, Hamad, and Nesselnim came in and dismissed those charges. I was suspicious then and I'm suspicious now. Political motivations, Gretchen Whitmer trying to get elected at the time, Snyder endorsing Whitmer, uh, Mezzeron and all the big shots behind the scenes, and Flint residents, in my opinion, was used as a pawn, high profile case, water crisis. I had a lot to do with the strategy to declare the emergency. And we had did all that hard work. Then them numbskulls who hadn't been in the fight, Gretchen Whitmer, Neely, and others, then almost said it, messed it up. Nobody did a day in jail. Not one dollar got returned. There's a bunch of big shots out there. Where would I find these big shots today? What do you think they're doing? Um, Neely probably scrambling somewhere in his office, He's in calling there? back and The forth. mayor's in there? I see his Cause, car. Because the mayor was a city councilman and he pushed for it. He pushed to use the Flint River water. He gave tours. He, he was pushing <laughs> in the plant to use it. And now media, nobody is saying anything about that. Well, that's funny. You were media. That's right. So yeah, let's, go, let's go find the mayor. <laughs> let's go find him. Let's go find him. Hey, bottles of water. Hmm, hmm. Don't use, don't use Flint 2022. Don't drink the water. Okay. Oh. Hi, is the mayor in? He's not? No. Can you have him give me a call? Can I leave my number? He knows me. Okay, is he having lunch? I'm not sure, I know he was in a meeting. But not here, in a meeting someplace else. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, I just pulled in. I seen that he was here. So I'm always highly suspicious of certain politicians telling the truth and having their staff tell the truth and folks lying and telling half truth. I know this one. He will trick you, lie to the community. So the mayor's tax funded car is here. Look at the plate. The mayor's not here, but his car is. Hello, this is Charlie. You? I'm very well. Hi, um, so I have the mayor on the line and he was wondering what it was you would like to speak with him about. Oh, uh, I, I, would like to, I would like to speak to the mayor about the, uh, about the water, about the... About the water? Yeah. Okay. Are you channel four? I'm sorry? Uh, are you from Channel 4, he said? No, this is Charlie Ledoff from the No Bullshit News Hour. You know, bigger than Channel 4. That's a strange turn of events. Within seconds, he magically appears. <laughs> from somewhere deep inside this phone. Okay, thank you very much.
you can poison 100,000 people and get away with it if you're a rich white person or, you know, a government official. Well, the mayor's black. Yeah, but he's not being charged. No, but he also vo he, he voted for it. Yeah, he sure did. And he uh, put up videos, which have now been taken down, about supporting drinking from the Flint River. Oh, we can't find those. They're gone, huh? Yeah, those oh. are taken down. Did you approve of the job that the former administration was doing? I approve of Todd Flood and his team because they spent three years, one, coming to Flint, getting to know the people, gathering our evidence that we had collected. He respected the evidence we had collected and used it to file proper charges in the proper courts under the proper precedent and he didn't trample over anybody's constitutional rights. So they stuck. The indictment stuck. And the cases were moving forward to trial for manslaughter, which is a pretty big deal. If Dana Nessel, the attorney general, and her, you know, solicitor general, had Dana Nessel wanted to get these charges to stick, one, she would have stuck with the original team. She would have brought them in to teach her brand new team all about what's going on, what they had learned for three years, and the su successes that they had had moving forward. But instead, she scrapped it all, all the expertise, tossed it out, didn't talk to Flint residents, didn't let us know anything, and then moved forward with much weaker cases. And also appointing, you know, a solicitor general who has never, and I repeat, never, had uh, spearheaded a criminal case through trial. So why would you do that? What do you want to tell Nessa? Why? Why did you fail us? And don't say it's an accident. Don't say it's a whoopsie. And don't keep saying that justice delayed is justice denied. It's not delayed. It's just done. It's justice went to the garbage can where you threw it three years ago. Well, now we're going to go try and see Jeff Wright, the Genesee County Drain Commissioner, the man that put the whole Karagandi Water Authority together. Lots of money, lots of contracts, lots of bonds, lots of campaign contributions, and lots of pain. I heard he doesn't like me. How you doing? Hey, Jeff Wright, please. Uh, he is not here at the moment. I'm Kevin Sylvester. I'm the communications director. Kevin, his car's out there. Who is? Jeff's. That's not his vehicle. No, out there, over there. Okay, can you come out? Or you... I, I, I can't leave here. Okay, um... If I can ask what's regarding? Uh, you know, the water, the charges, the Supreme Court throwing out the charges, you know, no, must be a good day here. Uh, that has nothing to do with our office. No, it's Karagandi Water Authority, it's Chef Ray, it's a drink. He put the whole thing in motion, man. Now, come on, it's me, dude. Okay. So he's not here? I'm not aware of him being here, no. Check his office? I, I will after just to make sure, but I, I don't believe he's here. Check his office for me, please. Before I leave. <laughs> okay. If you if you'll uh, go ahead and uh, contact me, we can try to assess something. Like that. Thank That's you. all I can do for you now. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Take it easy. Let's try Ed Kurtz's house, the former emergency manager who signed the order to drink pig swill. Hey Ed! Eddie! The emergency manager, you know, they took over control of Flint. The Governor Snyder appointed him, and he's the one that signed it. Drink from the river. See how Ed's doing, how he's feeling today. It's Charlie again. I'm not here to bust balls anymore. We're here to congratulate you for getting away with it. Poisoning tens of thousands of people. And making money while doing it. Only in America. See if, oh, he's still got the fountain. Oh. Good old Detroit water. Well, at Ed Kurtz's house from Flint Township, far away from Flint, where the man got away with it, Charlie Liduff, along with Zach and Byron, no bullshit news.